this software um, I called it I had named it the general accounts manager it's an automated cash book uh, that was built I built it in 2007 for uh, in specialist hospital and um, it has a dynamic data entry that what you see on your screen actually is the dynamic and data entry uh, form it's a modeless form that allowed me to, to to interact with the spreadsheet and also work on the form but it also had a lot of had a lot of data validation uh, features built into it so I'm just going to tell you um, explain to you how uh, it worked okay so let me just go back to the beginning so yeah now you see there I'm making an entry so you enter the particular this is just like working with the paper cash book so you type the detail about the particular um, cash payment that we made so what's the form of payment because this is income now so the money coming in what kind of payment was it was it was a cash check okay so then what's the activity for um, I think it's under under the uh, registration and consultation okay right and then you know the amount now the minute you make an entry that's not a valid number it turns red the cell turns red in the form and then you notice also uh, I want you to watch you see that the, th the cursor continues to move to the corresponding column that is clicked so each of their income heads the, co the cursor moves to the income head now when you click a different income receipt type watch it inserts the formula by itself so the formulas are not pre predefined in the cells the cells have no formulas in them it's when you choose the income receipt type that it then inserts a appropriate formula in the correct column because there are four columns the one column is for cash then another for check and all that you know then this is the report generation interface is dynamic interface you can generate reports monthly for a particular week or the year, year till date you can see the drop list there he checks choose it i choose january it, it brings up the summaries and I, the, this was the format they were using they had spreadsheets like numbering hundreds of spreadsheets they've been using for years so when i automated it for them then this report interface was what they wanted and i designed it that way but i also helped them incorporate graphs now you see the table at the bottom those tables are the actual they're like paper the electronic versions of the paper version they had which they were using but i the thing that's different here is that i put in graphs on the same page so this thing would allow you to print individual pages then you could also generate chart this is a very interesting part i was using the api calls here application programming interface calls the book i used to do all of this the professional excel, excel development book, professional excel development by rob bovis and some other guys you know they have a new edition now I understand there's a fourth guy working with them on vbnet all right so you can see that you can dynamically change the type of chart you want to see you know the body of data you want to roll, scroll through and just have a trend uh, to see the trend in the uh, changing in the data um, so then you can also save the, the, the chart whatever chart you generate can be saved that was the way this application was with very sophisticated application way back in 2007 and beautiful 200,000 naira. if I were to do that job today <laughs> I don't even want to tell you what I would charge it would not be under a million naira. I wouldn't I don't even think most clients would be able to settle for this because i don't think they will be able to use it the way these guys were using it that's my opinion anyway okay so one of the things you see that we we're able to ch check the chart also on the um, computer after exporting the chart from inside the application you can see it was a windows meta file then you see i opened it on the on the desktop and i was able to view the file so you can actually export chart from now the other thing i wanted to show you of course was the book uh, i just feel it's important for people to understand um whatever you see someone doing when you see the person is very good at it quite often when you see somebody displaying an ex exceptionally high level of skill that person would have invested thousands of hours thousands and thousands there's a glassstone theory which says most people that develop expertise of the kind that they have what's called unconscious competence and they can make money almost like i like can snap all the fingers from using that skill whether it's artwork or whatever or computer skills it's because they've invested over ten thousand hours that's when you achieve unconscious competence so the glassstone theory you could google it learn about it that's the level at which i am there are things i know how to do with spreadsheets that the average person will not even imagine possible that's why a lot of people see my applications locally and they can't even comprehend you know the way i control the graphic interface the way i use automatic forms and all of that so this book was a book that helped me i was already doing a lot but the book helped me to take my work to the next level so what you saw in the in hospital software where i was using the modeless data entry form and i was using the form that generated charts automatically and exported stuff well that was where i learned those from but i found out that the market was not ready to pay me for that so i removed all of that and focused on the things that i saw that the market was willing to pay for you've got to be realistic maybe if i had international clients that wanted that then i would have done that but people wanted specific solutions so i gave it to them 
all right so just for clarity what i've decided to do is take some of my software and showcase them um those that i've not showcased before and the new ones i'm building like the recent election project and just talk about them and with regard to offering uh, opportunity to anybody that's interested in learning excel vb from me becoming a member of my excel vb club and probably getting copies of these apps you know well the ones that i'm making available they, they, for instance this app i will not make it available to anybody because it's proprietary it's not it's not something i can give out to any other person it's for the organization i built it for but the ones that i'm able to give out i will but if i if you want to learn how to do it of course that's something i'm offering to do as well and then if you need help with automation this is just to let you see that i do have uh, the breadth of know-how that will enable me to help you so let me know what you want let me know how you want it done and we can make it happen and like i said if you want to join the club reach out to me using the contact details on the screen i wish you well